Hi, dear traders and all investors who are going nuts because of the global financial crisis. Today is Tuesday, August 30th, and I'm glad to share a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. Why am I addressing investors like that? I feel great sympathy for investors who have to survive the energy and financial crisis raging across the world. Those who used to have big money have been suffering massive losses now. Believe me, because I know a wide circle of investors, in this context, forex trading looks more reliable. Indeed, retail traders may open intraday positions, set stop losses and keep positions for a few weeks. Investors are less fortunate, my friends, so they can only buy an asset and hold it. That's it. So, if the asset price grows, you are a successful investor. If the price falls, uh, the only way for stock investors is the averaging strategy. Some experts say that the forex era is over. My friends, I think that the time is ripe to sharpen trading skills and dive into the market. By the way, brokerage services are costly. I have some connections at large brokerage firms. They say that Russian investors have already incurred huge losses of 50-60%. Uh, American investors are in the same dire strait. You are aware that the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 are taking a nose dive. At the same time, you can earn money smoothly in the currency market. Everything depends entirely on you, but not on market conditions. What I mean is to share you up. Indeed, Forex offers nice opportunities on the condition of reasonable money management. Let's discuss important market news. The ECB is ready to raise interest rates, adjusting decisions for inflation. The CPI is due on Wednesday, thus the red-hot CPI will influence the ECB policy decision in September. For the time being, traders are pricing in a right hike, so the euro is gaining ground. Analysts are trying to puzzle out whether the ECB will increase the key interest rate by 50 or 75 basis points. Analysts advise traders to wait for the CPI. The European legal regulator wants to catch up with the US Fed, but is still lagging behind in the pace of monetary tightening. For this reason, the euro dollar pair it is in a downtrend. Let's discuss everything on charts. Yesterday, Americans were selling gold. This activity fits into my trading idea. I have a bearish outlook for the precious metal. I expect gold to decline as low as 1675 per troy once. This target was formed in 2020 and 2021 and 2022. The needle approached this level lots of times. The real dollar pair is trading higher today. I have some ideas for short positions by the but they have not worked out well so far. Still, there is a possibility of this scenario. Yesterday, I planned short positions from the 50% Fibonacci level. The price has not moved in that direction yet. Now it is trading at about the 38% Fibonacci level. I don't cancel my sell scenario. If we look at the smaller time frame, we see that market makers or bankers left a curious level. I expect the currency pair to return to the level during the American session. The price approached that level three times and then relate. If the price is not able to settle higher, it will break 0 0.99. I cannot get used to such market quotes on the euro dollar pair. I remember the pair used to trade at 1.35 or 1.4. Now I set the target of 0 0.99. I reckon the traders are already pressing in the rate hikes by ECB. Let me remind you that further developments will depend on the inflation data tomorrow. Meanwhile, we could plan short positions with that nice downward targets. We can earn 500 pips when the price hits the first target and 1280 pips on the lower target. Let's discuss the dollar yen pair. We are waiting for a breakout of the peak of July. I see the level of 140 where we will close our long positions opened at the beginning of the month. 
So that's all I wanted to tell you today. I'd like to remind you that the crucial events this week will be the UA CPI on Wednesday and the US non-farm payrolls on Friday. Be ready for high volatility and see you online soon. Bye-bye.